Hey guys, welcome back to uh, PHP tutorial number 48. This is part two. Now, when we uh, we were just before we were talking about uh, printing out the results in the table. So now we've got those results, but how do we have that top uh, row of the table, which has the uh, sorry, f the word escapes me. Let's call them the titles for each column, and the titles in our case need to be links so the user can click that link and it will then sort it accordingly okay so that's what we're actually doing up here you can see we're making links and we're saying in this case the header will be the word ID okay and we're saying make that a link and it links to this page and then we're gonna put in some variables we're gonna say order var is equal to the the uh, the variable id underscore var and then it's exactly the same with the, f the next two the first name link and the last name link just two different variables so what are those variables well that's what we skipped in part one uh, we skipped that to talk about printing out the ro uh, printing out the table rather and now we're going to take a look at that so of course if the users never visited the page uh, then sorry actually Forget, forget that bit just there. Um, here, these ifs and else ifs are what are going to determine whether our link is going to link to the page and then sort it ascending or descending. Because obviously, we can only well, we could have two links on the, in the table, but it wouldn't look as neat, and it's a, it, it's the more uh, it's it's the way most of the tables you'll see work where if you click the, the link once it sorts it ascending and then if you click click it again it's changed and it will sort the, the, the table descending so the link changes when you click it and the way you make it change is by running these checks on the three links okay but before if if the like I said like I was talking about before if the user just comes onto the page then they haven't selected any way to sort it so it, it's the default sort in other words and then these checks won't work because these checks require values inside the link variables in order for them to work so the way we get around that is by just declaring these defaults and the default for each link is just that link in its ascending version okay and here whoops sorry here we're using the keywords that we saw up here. Okay, make sure you don't use the f the full hand values. You want to use the shorthand values. Um, the only time you ever see the full hand is in this switch and then in this else statement here. Okay, for everywhere else you want to use. Um, oh, pop! You also see the long hand values here as well. But that's not assigning. That's just checking. <coughs> Okay, sorry guys. Um, so we're declaring these defaults. And now we've got these defaults. Uh, we don't need to worry about these these checks uh, failing because we, we've got the defaults. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that any other way, but uh, just trust me on this. So the, uh, declaring those defaults will sort the problem. Now, if the user has has already is on the page and then has just selected a way to sort the variable. Uh, to sort the table, sorry, we need to change the link that they just clicked to the descending version, but keep the other two the same. Keep the other two the ascending version. Okay, so the way we do that is, like I said, with these checks. So here, I'll just show you an example of one. We're okay, checking to see if the order var variable, which was the variable which contained the longhand value, i.e., the, the value which would be the string which would be inserted straight into the query. Here we're checking to see if that variable is equal to um, the ascending version of the respective column of the respective column title, okay? And if it is, that means the user just clicked that, and so then we want to change it to the opposite. So we change the id var variable, which is the variable which is pasted into the link here, to the opposite, the shorthand opposite version of this okay so the longhand uh, 
here is id underscore un, sorry id space asc so the shorthand of that would be id underscore asc so the opposite of that shorthand is id underscore dsc so that's how we change it and then here we're checking to see else if all of our equals the descending version of id sort then change the link to the ascending version of id and that happens with uh, the first name and the last name as well and that's uh, that's pretty much all we need to know to uh, make sortable tables so let's go ahead and look at the uh, finished product just open up google chrome go to my local host and tutorials okay so here you can see our queries printed out the query that we have is select all from users ordered by last name asc so if you recall last name asc was our default so obviously that's worked now let's check to see if it's actually the ordering the sorting has worked i can see d at the top and w at the bottom so that's a good sign then the first because our first three uh, results have d at the beginning so next one has f the second one has f as well next one has f for the third next one has g for the third so obviously that's working and then here two and three records or the second and third records on this table anyway have dfg as the first three both so then we go to the next now three because numbers actually come before the alphabet in terms of the way uh, things are sorted because this is dfg3 it comes before dfgd okay so that's obviously working uh, then we got f's then we got g's we got gf and here we got gh so that's working k w so it looks like it's working and now if i click this you should see exactly the same table but this should be at the top this should be at the bottom and all the others should be sorted respectively so let's give it a go and there we go they're sorted in the opposite order now let's try this with the first name that should sort it ascending looks like it has d at the top s at the bottom try again should be s at the top and d at the bottom looks like it's worked and the easiest way to see if it's working well you can't tell if it's all working but you can certainly tell if this one is working is with the id because the numbers is the easiest especially with these records where i type them in really quickly just to have some results it's a bit hard to tell sometimes you've got to go through a couple of letters but anyway here you can see 1 to 8 now click it again 8 to 1 so you click, can clearly see it's working and you've seen you can see this query is changing as I'm clicking these if I click this you can see it goes ascending if I click it again descending again ascending again descending so you can see it alternates not only from ascending to descending but also from descending to ascending as well last name sorted ascending again descending again ascending again descending so you can see it's all working uh, before I go uh, please ask you to uh, comment on the video and please like the video if you thought it was good um, and if you really like the video you can subscribe if you didn't like the video um, then try checking out my other videos, my other series. I've got a whole bunch of series like Python, C++, JavaScript, tons of stuff on my channel. So check out those, and if you like those, of course, subscribe. Uh, and just finally, I'll say I'll put this code. This code is going to be on Pastebin, so if you need, if you want to look through this code, just oh, and I'll put the MySQL underscore connect code up as well, so you can all see that. It's uh, it's pretty simple. I think we covered what it was uh, in a previous tutorial but anyway that code will be up on pastebin and I'll have the links in the description so you can take a look at that anyways for now guys over and out